Okay, sound on and writing pad on. Okay, so I'm doing um, four, which one would you like to see? Eight. I'll do one of them, exactly one. Choose carefully, which one? Wait, Oh, I'm Jed. Sir W. Yes. Do W, sir. Okay, it has both sides. But I can't do, I don't understand why I would need to do more than one because they're all the same <coughs> idea. Right? So which one was most difficult? X. W. X looks good and difficult, yeah. I'll do X. Oh. 67 plus root 480. All over. Okay, please take out your calculator and give me those uh, two roots now. What's the first one? And second one? So really, what I don't understand what the problem could be with this because it's the same as the other ones. What do you multiply above and below by? Uh, you conjugate. Yeah, which is thirty-one minus. Now, please help me out with the calculator here. So, sixty-seven by thirty-one. Just give me a calculator. What is it? Okay, two zero seven seven. Sixty-seven times five, six hundred and seventy divided by three hundred seventy five. What's it? Three three five root thirty. And then four times that's a hundred and twenty-four root thirty. And then finally twenty six hundred, is it? Sorry, uh root thirty? Is it not here? Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Root 30. Yeah. All right. 31 times 31. What's that? 961. And then 31 uh, times 5 is 155. Okay. So minus 155 root 30. And then plus 155 root 30, and then 30 times uh, 5 is 150. Oh, that's way off. Uh, 5 times, no, sorry, because it's 5 times 5 is 25. 25 times 30 is 750 with a minus. Now, that's great because these cancel as normal. Right, 2077 minus, or what was this? This was 600, wasn't it? So that's equal to 1477. And then 335 uh, plus 124, so that's a 9359? Root 30? No, 4. 459 root 30, yeah? For these two added together? Yeah. All over. 961 minus uh, 750. So what's a 241? 241 is it? No, 211. I'm tired. It's a long day. All right. Now, I wonder if 1477 can be divided by 211. It can. That's great. And I wonder if 459 can be divided by 211. It's not 459. What is it then? Yeah. 4... Five. Minus oh, there's a sign mistake? Yeah. Thank you. So then, what's this number now? Minus one root three no. This one here is now plus, I'll put it in red, that should have been 211, because that should have been a minus. Now, I know 211 can be divided by 211. Mm. Oh, sorry, the signs 
What? Uh, it's minus three, three, five. Right, this one's the minus, yeah. and this one's the plus, which makes this one here minus. a minus. Thank you, though, for pointing it out. Okay, is that right now? It's right. Yes. Go right down. Do you need me to go up? Stays the same. Yes, it's it's right. Okay, did you write that down? Let's go down a bit. Going to wear a hat in class, at least put it on properly. Uh, but I mean, uh, you know what I mean? Better, you know? No, 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 no. Like, I mean, okay, but make yourself look presentable at least, you know? Can you? I'm pretty sure you can fold the ends up, right? <laughs> yeah, so, you know, there you go. <laughs> No, okay, now you look better, yes. You look like that guy from the internet, what's his name? You know the way you have good guy and then the bad guy? You know the one with the cap, where's it sideways? What's his name? Scumbag something, what's his name? You know who I'm talking about, don't you? No. <laughs> <laughs> you know internet mimes, don't you? Yeah, you're the one with the hat. No. Uh, he always does something bad. Gangster. Oh, the okay. gangster guy. Oh, What's his name? Oh, the, the head. Yeah, yes, yes, him. The What's his name? Uh, great, um, his name? <laughs> the one with the jacket made on With the spot. jacket and the cap, yeah. and he's always Bro. causing trouble. <laughs> I'm saying, you don't. <laughs> You don't want to look like him, you know? So, presentable, straight, you know? All right. All right, okay. You all know who I'm talking about, don't you now? Yes, okay, all right. You don't have any idea. The guy's not famous, his hat is famous. His hat is famous, yeah, it's the hat that's sideways and down, yes. You know this hat? No. Oh, it's a shame. Okay, um, right, we'll go to page 21 now. Yeah. No, this is a Ready? Actually, this is perfect. Here's the cap there. Here's the cap. I'll show you. He wears his cap like the size. <laughs> <laughs> you know this guy? No. Yeah. You don't know him? No, maybe. Do you know what I'm talking about? No, ah. I get <laughs> Do you have the internet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you know it yet? Yeah? Alright, okay. No, it's I'll yeah. say it's Yes? Alright. <laughs> okay. Uh, I have no idea what you're typing to find them though. Okay, so completing the square. Now, um, 
We've seen so far how to write quadratic equations like this with two factors, okay? There's actually another way to write it which turns out to be quite useful as well, which is called the completed square. So, for example, um, something like this. If you were to open this bracket up and add 1, you would get x squared plus 8x plus 6, 17. Now, how do I do that? Well, remember what does square mean? It means multiply it by itself. So if you just multiply it by itself and add 1, you'd get this. So the question is, yes, we can go from here to here. That's not a problem. You just do this. But the question is, now can we go backwards? Can we go from here to here? And the answer is yes, and I'll show you the process of how to do that. So, um, okay, you don't really need to write anything here. What you really need is the example. Uh, you'll see, you'll see. So watch carefully, please. So this is the first example. So this is how you complete the square. What you do first is you take the number in the middle, in this case, positive 2, and you divide it, or you half it. So half of positive 2, one. positive 1. Okay? And you write your brackets down with a square, and an x here, and what you do is you take this number and put it in, that bra uh, in the bracket there. That's the first half. So that's not difficult. You take the middle number and you half it and put it in. Okay? Now, what you do to finish, um, you take the number at the end, which is 8 here, okay? and then you take away the square of this. So what's 1 squared? 1. And take 1 away from 8, you're left with 7. <coughs> so what I did at the end here was I took my 8 and then I took away the square of this middle number here, this 1. And that gives me the 7. Now is that correct? It is correct. Let's check that it's correct. So you don't need to do this part here. This is just to check. So x plus 1 times x plus 1 plus 7. x times x? x squared. x times 1 is x. 1 times x? 